हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस लाइट एमिटिंग डायर एल ई डी लेट्स वेगेन लाइट एमिटिंग डायर इज ए जंक्शन डायर हुई एमिट्स भिजिबिल लाइट वेन इट इज फरवर्ड बायस्ड इन एब्रिविएटेड फॉर्म द लाइट एमिटिंग डायर इज कॉल्ड एल ई डी इफ द एल ई डी इज मेड उथ गैलियम फसफाइट देन इट उल एमिट ग्रीन लाइट इन दिस वे डिफरेंट वेराइटीज ऑफ कलरफुल लाइट कैन बी प्रड्यूस्ड बाय यूजिंग different combinations of elements construction it is a junction diode which is forward biased P type semiconductor, N type semiconductor. Forward bias, P type is connected to positive terminal, N type is connected to negative terminal. Let me understand what be the physics behind LED as it provides visible light. The principle: if the LED is forward biased, then the free electrons from n-type material cross the junction and recombine with the holes in p-type material. we can easily understood by taking here is the p type semiconductor n type semiconductor the majority charge carriers are holes here the majority charge carriers are free electrons when that one is forward biased p type is connected to positive terminal and n type is connected to negative terminal at that situation the free electrons from n type material cross the junction and recombine with the holes here the gathering of negative charge carriers in this way negative potential is developed here positive potential will be developed and a potential barrier is created again the electrons from that of battery recombine with the free electrons of n type semiconductor and they are filled by the holes of p type semiconductor and the flow of current from p type to n type 
to overcome that barrier potential it is the conventional current are that of situation when free electrons from n type material cross the junction and recombine with the holes in p type material what happened the free electrons are in conduction band which is at higher energy level if we take the energy level diagram this is the valence band here is the conduction band this is valence band that is conduction band valence band the electrons present are the valency cell and that energy level range are considered as valency band and similarly the electrons present at the conduction energy level that are under conduction band here in conduction band there are free electrons free electrons are in conduction band which is at higher energy levels and holes in the valence band here the holes are in the valence band in n type semiconductor there are free electrons and p type semiconductor there are holes since electrons are filled by the holes that uh, conduction band free electrons now towards that valency band holes as releasing some amount of energy when electrons release energy they come from higher energy level to lower energy level consequently if they absorb energy they are from lower energy level to higher energy level as they release energy that amount of energy is depend upon what be the gap in between these two that is the forbidden energy gap forbidden energy gap so the energy released in the form of photon that energy released is in the form of photon photon of energy that is e is equal to s nu in this way light emitted when free electrons recombine with the holes energy is released in the form of heat and light therefore we observe any colorful light photons are released negative positive therefore photons are released photons are released that one is forward bias led forward biased led in an electrical circuit when we take 
LED. So the symbol of LED, symbol of light emitting diode symbol of light emitting diode a pn junction diode which one is forward biased that end p type is connected to positive end n type is connected to negative end and light is emitted that will be the symbol these arrows are pointing away from that of led that indicates the light is emitted by that led when it is forward biased then what will be the voltage and current of that particular led led voltage and current we take an electronic circuit that is the led which is connected with a series resistance rs voltage V of S positive negative, P type is connected to positive, N type is connected to negative, so it is forward biased. Here the potential at LED V of D and current flow in that of LED that is I of F. Now what will be the current and voltage? So, voltage across RS, RS here, R of S, the resistance which is connected in series. V of S that is input voltage input voltage V of D that is voltage across LED V of D voltage across LED therefore voltage across rs voltage across rs is v of voltage across rs that is v voltage across rs will be the input voltage vs minus voltage uh, drop across LED V of D. Therefore, the forward current can be easily obtained. Then, the forward current I of F is equal to voltage by resistance voltage across rs divided by resistance r of s series resistance 
therefore, i of f is equal to in place of v, v of s minus v d divided by r of s that is the voltage that one is the current when a LED is connected to an electronic circuit. Basically, there are so many advantages of light emitting diode. The advantages are it requires low voltage, it has longer life, it requires low power and it is a solid light source. Solid light source means we can replace the incandescent lamp, incandescent lamp in the sense the lamp which is uh, obtained light by heating any kind of filaments. So, that kind of lamp are avoided by using the LED. Next applications of LED, it is used as power indicator in uh, houses you can see the power indicator board through which the measurement of total power consumed are measured. In that power indicator board you see a light, that light is nothing but LED light. Okay. It is used in 7 segment display. When we are dealing with uh, digital clocks, the numbers we obtained in digital clocks are nothing but uh, seg 7 segment display and that uh, display is an example of LED. Any kind of advertising boards. In railway stations, uh, you can also observe the indicators are used in the form of LED light. Okay. These are some applications related to light emitting diode LED. So, here with the help of this video lecture, we understand the concept of light emitting diode. What is light emitting diode? It is abbreviated form as LED construction principle on which it uh, works symbol of LED, LED voltage and current then advantages as well as applications of LED. So, with this useful and informative notes let me wind up this session. Thank you.